Hey everyone, Wyatt here with OVM. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing some leaf spring bushings and running issues on a Yamaha EasyGo golf cart. The customer has supplied me with the bushing kit. So let's have a look here. It's pretty straightforward. We have the collars and the bushings. Here it is. As you can see, the bushing completely gone. So customer's obviously obvious complaint is it's clanging and rattling around and making all kinds of funky noises. Now this other side, the front, is cracked and coming out, just about out. So uh, what I'm going to do is I already put down some wood. I'm going to bring my jack over here in a minute and I'm going to jack up the frame right here. Okay, pop the tire off and then go ahead and start on this side. Okay. All right, so you want to make sure your parking brake is engaged. Okay. And you line up the jack with the frame. Backing up, just want to get it so the tire is off the ground. Okay, we're good there. And then you're going to want to take obviously the lug nuts off, which are 21 millimeters or uh, 13 sixteenths. I already loosened them while it was down. The instructions recommend putting the tire underneath where you're working in case your jack gives away. Then it hits the tire instead of you. Okay. So what I'm going to be getting at first is this. See how the bushing is all wore out of here? Okay. It's a uh, 19 millimeter. Okay, the nut on the back side is actually a 14. Okay, we got it loose. Figure out a way. To make it happen. So for me, I just put a little pro bow under here, give it a little wiggle. I hurt anything around the tire. I'm gonna use a jack stand. I'm gonna bring the jack over here. Use the jack as my friend to get that thing back up in there. Which to me makes more sense than whatever the heck else they wanted me to do. So now I have a punch. Let's see if this punch gets it. Oh yeah, All right. So I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna use some uh, all-purpose lubricant. A little bit of steel wool.
and get it all cleaned up here. We get all the rust out of there. You're also going to want to clean the bolt. All right? Pretty, pretty dirty. You also want to look for any pitting, right, or sharp, sharp spots that could damage the new um, bushings. If there are, you're going to want to try to sand them out. This one actually feels really good. Your stuff fits you try to get it all up in there I've got the new bushing right slides right in okay lube up these bushings a little bit lube never hurt right and lube it up a little bit push it in the back lube up the next one push it in the front and you go look at that nice new bushing so now I'm going to use my handy dandy, whoa, hey, 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 Jack, to give me some assistance. Jack her back up in there and get this bolt up in there. I'm just going to spray a little bit, a little dab in there so it slides in. Okay, I'm going to get over there to the jack. Now, kind of in there. Okay, so I'm all the way through. The bushings are all looking real happy. We're gonna put the nut back on. Pressure on the on the socket. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's move on to the to the back one. Yay. Okay. For this back side, this bolt, 14 millimeter or 9 sixteenths. Same as the nut on the back side. Pretty rusty. Pretty rusty. I have to clean that up. There. Okay. So you see, it's pretty rusty. So I'm gonna soak it with my all-purpose lubricant. Get to scrubbing that in a second. Let this down a little bit. So this backside has these little bushings, right? And the new kit came with these little pieces. Putting this uh, steel wool through. Getting her all good and cleaned out. 
not feeling it. It feels pretty smooth in there. Yeah, I'll take the towel, get any excess junk out of there. I give my bushing a little bit of lube. Slide the first one in. I lubed it up. Slide it in. Okay. Lube up the next one. Slide it on in. Okay, give it a little lube on the inside. Okay. We're gonna slide our new collar in. Got a new collar in. There. All right. All right, James. I made the choice to use a uh, wire brush with a drill to knock off the struts holding the bolt there pliers because this wire will catch these gloves. Remember, lube is friend. Just all lined up. All the way through. That's it. I'm gonna set the camera up on the other side and just do like a fast forward video and you can watch me just knock out the next side. All right, let's go.